Relief for thousands more LA seniors as healthcare workers inject COVID-19 vaccines into their arms, like Sam Toscano's dad. Uh, you know, his health is our top concern, so we want to make sure that, that he gets taken care of. Also getting taken care of, cannabis industry workers, ahead of most educators, police officers, and grocery store employees. LA School Superintendent Austin Butner has tweeted, cannabis delivery drivers before school bus drivers and teachers? Makes no sense to me. Or to others most vulnerable, especially during a supply shortage. We need help. They're not gonna solve the problem of taking care of people in the hospitals because of the COVID-19. But United Cannabis Business Association President Jared Kylo, who also owns dispensaries throughout California and got his first vaccine, says marijuana is medicine. When you look at 300,000 people a day come through our shops, it is a good opportunity for us to be able to um, protect not only our employees who are on the front lines, but also our customers who also have com compromised um, immune systems and uh, diseases that could be affected. The California Department of Health has updated its vaccine guidelines to include employees at retail cannabis shops in phase 1A, which is now underway. Industry employees involved in growing, production, storage, transportation, and distribution are now bumped up to phase 1B, tier 1. A lot of this is still having to do with the stigma of cannabis in general. Uh, just because we're, we're serving a plant to the public that still has a a, as a taboo overlay on it doesn't mean that the people who serve it are bad people. On the contrary, according to the state, they too are deemed healthcare workers who should be protected. I think uh, <laughs> that's a stretch. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a stretch to, to say that they're the same as a nurse or a doctor. The state says that only those who work in medical dispensaries as opposed to regular cannabis shops can be prioritized at the front of the line. The problem is at vaccination sites like this, you bring your badge and your pay stub. It's unlikely that staff here are going to be able to tell whether it's a medical dispensary or a regular cannabis shop. Reporting live in Carson, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. Well, you know, I'm